right around the world. You're watching Old Mate's Backyard Tech. Alright, those of you out there who support, subscribe and enjoy Old Mate's Backyard Tech will be well aware of this. God bloody knows I am. I cop a lot of flack all the time. Particularly with what I say, what I do and things I look at and things that interest me. One thing I've always copped a lot of flack about is using VMware's ESXi. A lot of people don't like it. And a lot of people say it's useless. And I've been begged and pleaded and howled on for not trying any other type of bare metal hypervisor. Well, for this video, believe it or not, those of you who hate the fact I use ASXI are going to be even more infuriated. As you can see in the background, it's time for server PC stuff here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. And for this one, well, I can't guarantee this is going to work, but we're going to try it. We're going to update my ESXi server to ESXi 8 on what some of you out there may call a dinosaur of a Dell server. Here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech, it's time for server PC stuff. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It's time for server PC stuff here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech for midweek Wednesday, and we're going to attempt to do something on one of my servers. One of my, what some of you out there will deem an archaic Dell server. Now, I know I cop a lot of flack for liking VMware stuff. The holy other now know it all experts howl on me for liking VMware. I get a lot of viewers who say it's disgraceful and I shouldn't be using it. And I should be using like, you know, VirtualBox or Gnome Boxes or that other horrendous um, hypervisor we were trialling years ago here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech or I think it was Backyard IT or Backyard Tech at some stage. But anyway... Uh, I like VMware. I've used it for a long time. I continue to use it. And frankly, if you don't like it, don't watch it. Um, I've been running around with ESXi 7, as we know, for some time. And recently, a friend of mine alerted me to the fact that ESXi 8 was out. And I'm like, okay. So I thought... We haven't done a lot of IT stuff here at Old Mates for some time. I think the last lot of videos I did was for my old lady's new computer, which is flying. She's absolutely wrapped with it because unlike a lot of people out there, and definitely unlike me, uh, she has no patience. None at all. If it's not, if she turns her computer on and it's not within one second, she's howling on it. So she's much happier now. It's got a... Uh, if you remember, we put this drive in it, which failed. So I gave her a, uh, I think it's a 246 gig M.2 drive and a data drive, and it flies. She's absolutely over the moon with it. So, but see, I can wait for things. I'm not one of these people who needs it now. So she's happy. But anyway, what I want to do guys, is I want to see whether my, as a lot of you will put it, archaic Dell server will accept ESXi 8. Now, I'm not going to guarantee it. As we know, we know it's bloody old. Uh, it may, it may not accept it, but there's no harm as far as I'm concerned in trying. So, here it is on USB. I'm going to grab the mobile phone because the video cameras decided to have another hissy fit. It's chucked a tantrum, thrown a wobbly, waved the white flag and said, nah, stuff you, I'm out of here. Um, so we're going to have to do this on the phone. And we're going to see, fingers crossed, if it will accept ESXi 8. Now, the biggest issue I may have won't be necessarily with the, drive, the hard drive. It might be with the proc. Okay, I'm not guaranteeing it. It might be. But anyway, let me grab the mobile phone. Let's head out to the server cabinet and let's see whether or not I can get my Dell R server to accept ESXi 8. And if I can, I'll be happy. If it doesn't, well, I 
guess I'm stuck on ESX i7. Let's get into it. Alright, well, I don't need to tell you which server we're on, because you should know uh, by now which is the two servers. So, what we're going to do... I haven't done this with the phone for... Jeez, remember when we used to do all this type of stuff with my mobile phone and everyone kept cracking the sads with me over it? So, what do I need? One shot EFI. Alright, let me get this... Let me get this sorted out, we'll come back. Alright. Route from the cruiser. As in C R U Z E R, and let's see whether or not this will take it. Now, as I said, this is an arcade server by most standards, as you can tell, and uh, <coughs> excuse me, most people would see this as a server that's as old as a, you know, PCXT. Load the installer. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'm not overly concerned. Right. It just means that I'm stuck on ESXi 7. But if it takes it, I'll be happy. And remember, this is only a USB 2 server as well. So it's, you know, going to take 5,000 million years for it to boot. see what this does all right back in a tick well it loaded the network card all right we'll soon see what it does with the uh, with the um, procs I think the procs gonna be the issue all right let's see what happens back in a tick all right I have a feeling this is not gonna work oh no it's starting to load some more stuff ah that was my worry. We saw that. Alright. Let's see what it does. And we'll continue. Let's see what it says. Well, it's picked up the... It's picked up the raid. Okay. It might work. It's going to go onto that first drive. Upgrade. Alright, let's see what it does. It might take it, it might not. And there it goes. Okay. As I have nothing critical on this server, um, you can override and force the install, but it is not officially supported or recommended. Yikes. Uh, let's override it. Let's force it. F11. What's the worst thing that'll happen? <laughs> it just won't work. All right. We'll come back shortly. All right. We're getting there. We're at 79%. I can probably guarantee I'm going to get a lot of backlash on this video because I forced the upgrade. Now, I don't have anything mission critical on ESXi. Nothing, right? There's just some Linux OSs I muck around in. So it's not like... Um, out it's not like I'm gonna lose anything all right 
if it doesn't work, I've got ESXi 7. I can always wind back. Okay. Um, it's like I said, I thought it might have an issue. I couldn't guarantee whether it would work. It found the Ethernet cards, but it's the it's the proc on this that's the issue. But we'll soon see what happens. Let's see if it starts. I'm not going to guarantee it, but we'll soon find out. All right. Let's get life cycle sorted out and we'll come back. All right. Let's see what this does. I know it's very slow in booting coming off a mechanical hard drive. I get it. Okay, I know. It's extremely slow booting from a mechanical hard drive. You spend five and a half hours waiting for the thing to actually boot. All right. So you can see the problem here. All right. My Xeon is an E5 2630 at 2.4 gig. All right. We've only got 16 gig of RAM. Well, 15.9 usable gig. Someone's going to absolutely howl on me for doing this. You watch. So there's the NFS4 client loaded. So it's, it, it seems to accept the RAID control, because remember this is a hardware RAID. I'm going to get howled on for promoting hardware RAIDs. Let's see what it gets hung on. There's VM Tools SD. How far have we got to go over there? We're almost loaded. Are all the Python scripts running? All right. So it's on eight. Kernel release build twenty fifty one thirty ninety seven. All right. Let's uh, let's go to let's go back to the main rig and see what it does. All right. Well, as you can see, it looks different. We're not going to go through the whole of ESXi 8. There's plenty of videos here on YouTube about it. But let's see what happens. Well... It took it. Holy hell. All right. Log out. Let's see if I can get to it from um, workstation, shall we? That's not the right password. Wow. It it seems to work. Huh. Well, as I said, someone's probably going to howl on me for forcing the upgrade, particularly the holier than thou know it all experts. But well, let's uh Let's try and boot one of these, shall we? Go with PEP. This is just one of these Linux OS's I muck about with. Let's see if PEP will come up. We'll wait 500 years for it to boot because it's coming off mechanical storage. But if PEP boots, I should be all good. It booted. I didn't actually think that would work properly, to be brutally honest, but... Well, 
maybe I've managed to have a win, which let's face it, isn't often. Actually, to be brutally honest, old mate winning? That's really an oxymoron sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, there we are, ESXi 8. Now, I know I forced the installation. Time will tell as to whether it's actually going to work. That's the kicker. It Time will tell. But it appears, fingers crossed, it took it. I didn't think it did. Well, I didn't think it did. and it, I didn't think it didn't, and it did. Or I didn't think it would and wouldn't. Oh, you guys get the, you guys get where I'm coming from. I haven't had enough coffee yet. Um, but there we go. ESXi8 is out on the Dell server. It's probably going to be a little finicky. But as I said, with what I have on my R730 these days, they're just OSs. There's nothing mission critical on them. I'm not worried if the thing decides to pack and pack up and do the hand grenade thing and blow itself to pieces. Um, and that's coining a phrase from a very, very well-known Aussie YouTuber who's no longer with us. Um, so apart from that, there we are. It worked. Hmm. I guarantee you two things. One, there's going to be a few people surprised I was actually able to get it to do it. And two, the holy other now know it all experts and the global knowledge idiot are going to be howling on me about the fact that, well, it worked. They're going to think I've done something. Didn't do anything. Luck? Yeah. More luck than anything else, I guess you could say. There we are. Anyway, that's it for Midweek Wednesday here at Old Man's Backyard Tech. That's it for server PC stuff. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday, guys. And I will catch you around the channel for Pro Audio Fridays. Or, actually, I should say, if I'm lucky enough, <laughs> probably shouldn't push it too far, that I'm able to get off work early tonight, because uh, I'm working today and tonight, if I'm able to get off work early enough and I'm able and I'm awake early enough tomorrow morning, we will do a little bit more investigation on ESXi 8 and we might be able to do a system setup and product review video for you as well. We'll see how that all pans out. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your Wednesday, guys, and the weekend is around the corner. Have a good one. This has been an Old Mate's Backyard Tech presentation.